Hey guys, how's it going? Yeah, hey, I'm here on the tractor driving home. We had to get uh, some codes cleared and stuff. So I'm on a, about a three hour, three and a half hour trip home. And it's Friday evening. I don't have a YouTube ready yet, so I figured I would give you a, what should we call it, a tour of the inside of a Maxim 130 CVT cab. So, I guess we'll just start here with the obvious steering wheel, stuff like that. This, this lever right here is the forward and reverse shuttle shift. Uh, you've got, as that graph indicates, and then top up here is the drive. And you pull it down as reverse, or pull it back as reverse, kind of toward you as reverse. And then push down and to the push down and then to the front. That's your park. And if you just press the button, this orange button from the end, then you've got neutral. And then you've got your lights and horn right down here. Push the end of that. Uh, push the end there, and that's the horn. And then you turn the end. That gives you your lights and stuff like that. And and that's also the signal for signaling. And then you've got up there you've got your flashers, uh, four-way flashers or whatever. And uh, oh, where am I going to do it? Right through here. And there you have your wipers. The just turning the screw on the end is the rear wiper, and pulling the lever up and down is the front wiper, the key obviously. And then we've got here gauges. So the top 26, it's surrounded in black, which means that I am in that stage of the, it has three, three forward stages, F1, F2, and F3. I'm in F3, driving 26 miles per hour. And the um, speedometer is there on the bottom where it says 26.0 miles per hour. The black and white line right under the speedometer, that's the depth level, garbage stuff, but has to use def so that's the def level right there and then you've got the tractor shape with the forward arrow telling you you're in drive and all the way at the top you've got that number that's fluctuating a bit that is the engine rpm i'm driving full speed at 1370 engine rpm and on a non-cvt tractor that would be at 2100 rpm now at least so that's your advantage of the CVT, that you can uh, drive with the tractor engine pretty much idling and, and you're still driving full speed. And down there, the uh, second, yeah right there, the 3044.5, that's how many hours this tractor has got. And then the zero, that's the PTO RPM and the PTO is disengaged, so that means it's going to be zero RPM. The rear hitch position that's the three point hitch so that is at 80 percent raised you go a little higher yet and then down there you've got a bunch of buttons to control the those that uh, second screen i just explained I'm driving right now so i can't really work those buttons but, uh, but yeah that gives you different options on the screen you can either have your rear remote valves displayed there or uh, oil pressure stuff like that and then up here we've got the engine heat gauge it's exactly perfect the blue green and red gauge that's the engine heat gauge and the fuel gauge are just fueled up in the last town so that's nice and full and here's the mirror as you can see i'm using my phone not my alcaso uh, gray 4. up here we've got uh, this fm transmitter and the cb radio would not come with a tractor, obviously, like if you buy one, you wouldn't have an FM transmitter. It might have a CB radio, but most likely not. And then there you've got the stereo. That would come with a tractor or should. And there you've got your climate control stuff, your colder and hotter, fan, AC. And there you've got your lights. So when you, right here, when you turn on your lights, then you can go up here and choose which lights you want to have on. As you can see it looks like a tractor and then it, and then it just shows you which lights you can you can choose which lights you want to have on 
Vader monitor also would not come with the tractor when you buy it. Back there you've got one switch that uh, chooses which hydraulic stuff you want to use. If you just want to use the rear remote valves and the loader or if you want the uh, three-point hitch also engaged. If you have that in the middle, then uh, you have the, everything locked. And uh, that's one problem we had. So if you suddenly have problems with not being able to use your three-point hitch, just uh, push that button so that it's the three-point hitch and the cylinder are green, and you should be able to use your three-point hitch then. Uh, and then we come down here. Okay, I'm gonna turn the phone like this now. And then we have our, actually, I'm gonna use We have our split throttle right here. That is exactly because it's CVT. The yellow one, it chooses your lowest engine RPM and the orange one chooses your highest engine RPM. And now when you have that set, then you push this transmission lever forward, choose your gear, which you do with the rabbit and the turtle buttons. And then you choose, yeah, you choose your gear, whichever gear you want to drive. And then you push it to the front and then it will once go up 2000, 2100 RPM which is right there and then it will slow down to uh, well right now it's 1370 so nice RPM nice cruising that dial down there the orange dial that is to set your speed so in F1 F2 and F3 you can set your different speeds so let's say you are for example you're you're bailing now you want to drive 10 miles an hour and then you just go into F2, and there you have, I have it set now at 10.8, that's just why, I don't know why, but it is like that. And then I'll just scroll this dial down to 10.8, and when it's at 10.8, you just push that to the front, or 10, sorry, 10 miles an hour. Then you just push that to the front, and it's going to speed up to 10 miles an hour. And the other two orange buttons up there, that's your forward and reverse. It's the same thing as this lever right here, except it's just on that on that transmission lever so you can choose your forward and reverse there and then you've got the black buttons the two black buttons there the top two or the, the left two those are the hydraulic cylinders for the back so you can have one set of hydraulics on here so if you just have like a cultivator or something that you've got to raise at the end of the at the end of the field you just use that you don't need to use these these are all hydraulics here that you, three of them yeah this tractor is equipped with three some tractors are more i know the quad tractor is a h has six at least this one could have four and then the, the other two the right two those the right two black ones those are the three point hitch and you've got the, these two screws here the dials here that's also three point hitch stuff which uh, I think adjusts the speed at which it goes down, how far it can go down, stuff like that. And those two buttons with the up and down arrows with the three point hitch thingy. <coughs> it's also just for up and down on the three point hitch. There you've got the tractor with the front tire has a forward arrow. That means the uh, four wheel drive. And the red one right beside it is the differential lock. And then you've got four wheel drive automatic and differential and lock automatic. And then you've got these two buttons right here, two orange ones. That just sets your uh, speed engine RPM that it goes to a set preset engine RPM. I think one of them is set at 1200, and the other one you, you can set however you want. Oh no, those are actually two set it in the, the one and two. That is. And those are the two different settings. That's obviously your PTO switch there. You switch on your PTO and stuff. And then there's the loader joystick. So that's about it. Um, I hope that wasn't too boring. I hope you could learn something. If you are a CVT driver and you just got a CVT, I hope that this helped you. It took me a while till I figured out what the split throttle was for. Tried finding YouTubes, tried finding stuff, I couldn't find this stuff, so hopefully this has helped you.